Death is inevitable and a leveler. To some, it signifies the end of all troubles on earth. But besides leaving families emotionally devastated, it also leaves many pockets empty. Ghanaian funerals can be a drain on the pairs. Becky Bosom Chip buried her father two weeks ago. To finalize the burial and funeral, she came to this conclusion. It's now expensive to die because recently my father died. I think we buried him two weeks ago and looking at the expenses we have made, it's, it's so much. The fees are many. Mortuary fees, undertaker fees, hair fees, casket fees and many more. Mortuary fee is so expensive. We pay a lot. A lot that I can't put the figure here though, but um, some of the um, uh, mortuary fees, I think the government should do something about it. Even the burial space, you have to pay for it. The cement and everything that you use for the burial is expensive. Daniel Mensah makes caskets for a living. He agrees with Becky. Casket prices have indeed skyrocketed. Daniel says all materials for making coffins have shot up. Our domestic cemetery is one of the cheapest cemeteries in Accra. Accra Metropolitan Assembly recently increased the burial fees from 600 to 1,000 cities. I don't think it is expensive because the thousand cities that you pay, it goes with the space, not just only the space that is taken. We don't just bury in the quite the earth grade like that. You still need to put in some form of block work inside the grave before we bury. So all these things has a cost. Florence Kuchi is the director at the Accra Public Health Department. She justifies the increments of burial fees. Cost of labor, cost of water, cost of cement, and everything goes into it. Depending on how you want to bury, we also determine on the amount we are going to pay. So, costly is relative. I can say that. Depending on where you are going to bury and the location that will determine whether. But I can tell you, Awudomi Cemetery is still the costless, the cost effective place to bury in Accra. Bernard Kwashi is a grave digger at Osu Cemetery. He has noticed that the current economic crunch has made it more difficult for families to organize funerals. For, the, for this government, uh, very hard year, this government spoiled the very hour because there was a time people have been not spending money on a burial like this, but now so the government, everything is hardship to do something. So. If God willing and nobody can nobody can help you or to support to do the burial for this government we are we are in by this time there to bury it's very hard. However, many bereaved families disagree with the AMA. Indeed, the economic situation has made burial more expensive. But would you rather organize a modest funeral or will you still insist on an expensive befitting funeral for your loved one? Who may not even know how much you spent on them. Caleb Mensis reports for Joy News.